Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, my name is Donna, and for those of you not new, thank you so much for continuing to come back and support my channel. I appreciate all of you so, so very much. Today, I am doing this for you guys. We are going to create a look together, and there's some ups and downs through this whole process. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, please stay tuned. I will fast forward through some parts, most of the parts for you, but I do have a voiceover ready for you and I hope that you enjoy. So we're starting with the Clinique Moisture Surge Eye. I do put that on my under eyes. I also put it down on my lip area. I don't know why I do that. Then I have the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eyeshadow Primer. I put this on on my nose. I got that hot tip from Mr. Robert Welsh. And yeah, my nose, my upper lip, my eyes, just making it in my under eyes, making sure it's all in there. And then my J Cat Beauty uh, white eyeshadow stick. I use this especially for more vibrant colors that I am putting on my eyes. Also gives me a little layer of protection against like eye staining. Um, sometimes, not always. Starting with my NYX Ultimate Brights palette, and we're just going into that purple. And I'm just going to kind of map out the shape I want the eye to take. And this eye is my easy eye. This one worked pretty good. I got that on no problem. And then we go over to my wonky eye, and it wasn't so easy. This eye shape is totally different and I don't really realize it until the very end when I have the eyeliner on and then I realize it's more straight out and the other one is more upturned. I don't know. It is whatever, I guess. I'm going to go into this blue and I'm going to put that right on top of the purple. Both these brushes are just Luxie brushes I got in a boxy charm at some point. I think they were like special edition. I'm going to go into this teal and put it right on top. This brush is one of my new Sigma brushes. It is actually an um, inner corner highlight brush, but I love it for detailing. Then of course you've got to pack that purple back in there because some of it got lost when I put that blue on top. So just getting it back in there, getting it as vibrant as I want it to be. And these shadows aren't necessarily the best. I feel like they're a wee bit patchy, honestly. Um, so it was a lot of tapping in versus blending in. Then I go in with the uh, Too Faced, better, uh, no, Born This Way Concealer, and I'm going to cut my crease with that. I'm just doing kind of a half crease. I think that this is probably the one of the better cut creases I've done. You can still see the purple and the blues on top of that cut crease, which made me happy. Normally, that wonky eye of mine doesn't look there's always never like the purple on top <laughs> it would have disappeared in the cut crease but i went up high enough that there was still a lot of the purple there like there was in the other eye I 
I'm just going in with another brush and making sure that it's all tapped out and smooth and putting some yellow into that inner corner area. I'm just using the same brush. The brush I used to lay down that cut crease was a Morphe brush and this one is actually an Alamar Cosmetics brush. I did have a wee bit of fallout with that color so I'm just trying to get it off my under eye. I'm going to go in with this light orange color. I did anticipate that this orange was going to be quite a bit more vibrant than it is here. It looks more like a pastel pink. Definitely not the color I was going for. Went in with the yellow, just putting it back in there. Some of it was lost in translation, especially there on that um, where they meet. Now I'm going to go in with this green and pack that onto the outer part of that cut crease. Putting some more of that orange in there. I'm trying to make that a little more orange. But I just, I think at this point, realized it wasn't going to be any more orange than what it was. So I thought, oh, maybe a shimmer will help. So I'm grabbing the shimmer here, putting that just right there on the center, tapping it over the top of that orange. As you can see, it didn't do much. <laughs> so I was still really disappointed with that shade but we'll get there and just trying to blend that purple in and then decide that it's not as purple as I want it to be so I go into that like little red shade but as you can see it turned out a lot more pink um, then I did red. Going back into that J Cat Beauty Jumbo Crayon, I'm just putting some on a brush to detail it right there on the inner portion of my brow bone so it lightens up that area quite a bit then using another brush just to blend it out and blend that blue up into it I'm gonna use this eyeliner here this is one of the um, Ellie Girl Shockwave Neon. It's actually a lip liner, but I'm using it under my eyes right there. And then just using a brush to smudge it out. Then I'm going to go into this lavender shade and use that to blend out that liner. All right, I am using Laura Geller Spackle Under Makeup Primer in Ethereal. It's This is one of my Holy Grail primers. I love it. Then I'm going to use the L'Oreal 24 Hour Fresh Wear. Uh, this was the foundation that my friend got me in that Subscriber Buys My Makeup video. It's a really good foundation. I've been wearing it almost every day since. I feel like it is a really great color match for me. It's a smidge off, but not much. And what I love the most about it is that it is medium, but 
kind of share all at the same time. I don't feel like it hides my own skin. It is so easy to wear. Um, I don't like using concealer, so I feel like it ages me about 800 years, so I don't where I don't have to. So I'm just picking up a little more of the foundation on my brush, not my brush, my sponge, and kind of detailing it in to that under eye area. And then going back in with that lavender shade and just building that up on the under eye area. This is where I am still trying to salvage that orange. This orange that I'm going into is a Sydney Gray Single Shadow and it's got a little bit of shimmer to it so I was hoping to salvage this. It looks a lot better than it did with that kind of like peachy tone. Um, this eyeliner is a Morphe liquid liner in white. I really had high hopes for this, but um, yeah, you guys will see that didn't turn out well. I think part of the problem is it's a felt tip and I'm not used to felt tips, so that's on me, but it cracked like the next one does. Um, maybe not as bad, but it still did and it was just kind of a hot mess. And this eye is what really screwed me up. The other eye turned out okay, but then I tried to make it look like my wonky eye and that didn't quite turn out. So yeah, disaster ensued. So then I go in with my black eyeliner and this one is the um, Benefit Roller Liner. One of my favorite liners, but it did not like going over the top of that white liner and it's I think starting to run out. So I grabbed a Maybelline one and I grabbed a Stila one and then just started filling them in <laughs> because it pissed me off. I think you guys here in a few minutes will start seeing my disgust with this whole process. <laughs> and 90% of the video is me struggling with this eyeliner. <laughs> and now I'm starting to fill it in because I'm like, screw this. I'm done. I think it looks good with black eyeliner too, but I really wanted that white eyeliner to work out. If anybody knows of a good white liquid liner, let me know in the comments. Going in with my uh, white Jumbo pen again and just filling in that inner core spot. My look is all matte, so except for that little pop of orange there, I didn't feel like I should have a sparkling inner corner. I'm going in with the ABH Contour Stick in Mink. This is just a sample out of my sample series, and I actually quite love it. So easy to use. I'll probably purchase a full size. Mm -hmm. 
Going in with my Ofra Matte Bronzer. I'm bronzing up. And then my ABH Trio, my blush trio. I'm using the coral and orange tones and just kind of putting my brush into all three shades and dancing it on my face. I like this like blush draping. I've been doing it for eons. Um, for a powder today, I'm using my Hourglass. It's in my Project Pan. It's just a sample size. I love this powder though. My brows is just the ABH Clear Brow Gel. I like this brow gel a lot. And then my setting spray is Kula, which is not my favorite. Um, for mascara, I'm using a combination of the one that my friend JC purchased and it is the, I believe Maybelline uh, cover girl, sorry, cover girl exhibitionist on censored extreme. And then my thrive cosmetics, both of these mascaras are pretty amazing mascaras. And both of them are gifts to me from JC. The thrive one is a tubing mascara. So it just keeps the mascara underneath it. I feel like from getting all over my cheeks, transferring, I'm going back in with that. Um, color pop eyeshadow and ringer and I use that as a highlight often I love it as a highlight actually and that's how I'm utilizing it a lot for my project pan I feel like I've gotten a lot of use out of it um, more so as a highlight than as anything else I do love it because it's got this like nice pinky hue but it's also kind of frosty Then for lips, I am using a Pat McGrath lip gloss and a Buxom plump liner. Both of them have kind of an orange hue. No, the plump liner is Hush Hush. And the shade in the Pat McGrath lip gloss is actually Bronze Temptation. I do love that lip gloss. It is kind of got this nice coppery hue with some gold fleck. And that is it. All right, guys, if you're ready, we're going to do the uh, lights down, narcissistic little montage real quick. I hope you guys enjoyed my get ready with me today. Just a really quick snapshot of what it takes to get something like this done. Did you guys see the crazy mess I made with my eyeliner? Yeah. I went and bought a white liquid eyeliner from Morphe because I thought it was going to be better than NYX, but it's just not. So I think I'm going to go the gel route with the white eyeliner since I know I can do it now. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I hope that if you did, you're considering giving a big thumbs up. I also hope that you liked it or liked me enough that you're considering subscribing to my channel before you go. I would really appreciate it. I would love to have you here, and I think that you'd have a good time on this crazy midlife crisis of mine. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Please stay safe out there. Please wear your mask because we're never going to get out of this if you don't. Please love each other, but love each other from afar. And until next time, guys, bye.